Hi there. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Wiley Fox Swift. Wiley Fox, a brand new startup in the mobile space, uh, designed in Great Britain, manufactured in China, where uh, most things are these days. Let's take a look. Now, Wiley Fox, we've got the cool Wiley Fox logo and this vibrant orange box. Um, clearly designed to make an impression if it's in the retail space. Uh, on the back, you can pop over. They do come sealed, so if you receive one without a seal or with a broken seal, contact your retailer. And right here, cyanogen. That's one of the key selling points of the Wiley Fox Swift. It's Android based. However, it's not Android as we know it. Now, we've got a pretty nice presentation pack inside when you open the box. Now, considering this is a £129 phone, it's a very interesting setup. We've got the Wiley Fox face up in the box, sorry, face down in the box, with the embossed engraved plastic logo shining in the center, the orange branding, and the camera right of place on the back. Pop that over. And again, yeah, for a relatively cheap phone, we've got a nice felt lining and Inside, we've got the removable battery and a pretty cool flat cabled micro USB cable, different to the standard fare. So, even though a cheap phone, Wiley Fox, I think, keen to make a good first impression in the packaging. Let's pop this battery out. The, this Swift has the removable battery. The Wiley Fox Storm, which is the larger model, coming in a few weeks uh, doesn't have a removable back or removable battery whereas this phone does now you can see we've got the sim cards dual sim and micro sd slot this is actually my personal swift so i've already got my uh, sim card and memory card in and good to see a dual sim phone let's get that in without showing you those rmi numbers When we boot up, we will see, first off, the Wiley Fox powered by Android, as would be standard on most phones. After we go past the Android splash screen, we will see a Cyanogen splash screen. Now, a little bit about Cyanogen for those that don't know. Uh, Cyanogen started off as a kind of hackers group, um, modders group that created custom ROMs for phones. So if your phone was old or in a new lease of life, you could install a ROM on it, maybe unlock features it didn't previously had. Um, and it was a way of either breathing new life into phones or simply for those that want to tinker and play about with their hardware and make it do something different. They've now created a stable retail release called Cyanogen OS. So Cyanogen Mod is what the modders and hackers and tinkerers use. This is Cyanogen OS, which is a retail release which is on the Wiley Fox Swift here the storm that's coming has previously been seen on um, some of the earlier OnePlus devices OnePlus the big name in Chinese manufacturing uh, who are also known for affordable high-end phones and one of the key things about Cyanogen OS is that it's extremely customizable you can customize uh, themes for the phone here we have the Wiley Fox's own personal orange theme you can go to a theme store download completely new themes you can even if you've got the know-how create your own themes and upload them to the stores um, for sale or for free download if you've got the ability to tinker you can customize innumerable amounts of things in the settings such as the, the color of the notification leds for particular applications um, whether or not the the volume buttons switch when you put the phone into landscape um, you name it the the, the screen color ratios the rgb values for the for the entire user interface you, you can really go deep with this thing um, it's refreshing to see um, even though google android has been known for being the most customizable of the major smartphone os's to see something like this on a retail release for only 130 quid is is very very refreshing indeed a um, few people have asked if you get the play store because it's cyanogen you do the cyanogen project is google certified so you get the full google suite of apps um, and the play store as well as the cyanogen theme store um, there are quite a few inbuilt apps but you can completely remove them unlike other phones uh, which 
you can't remove the system applications things such as the audio effects software um, you can uninstall it if you don't want it and you can always get it back again for free the um, the sign engine browser you can take that out interestingly it uses Bing as its default search rather than Google of course all completely changeable in the software now if we go into the settings uh, where are we s for settings um, you'll probably see a lot more options in here than you're used to with even stock Android on say a Nexus phone uh, display and lights buttons um, all sorts of things status bar you can even go as far as to changing what the battery icon looks like in here uh, let's go into storage quickly uh, there's nothing on this phone other than setup I said it's my personal phone um, I haven't actually got around to putting my own apps onto it yet so what are we looking for storage there we go so this is as it comes out of the box um, available 10.35 out of total space of 12 so it's a 16 gig phone about 4 gig munched up by this by the system and then another two from what's installed but 10 almost 10 and a half out of 16 is pretty fair doing especially considering the amount of options that Zion Engine OS provides you and of course you've got the SD card as well uh, still no complete installing of applications to SD card that is still considered in the Google world a uh, security risk but app data can be transferred if you choose to and if we go into the about phone just so we can take a look at the Cyanogen OS so we've got Android 5.1.1 with Cyanogen 12.1 so when Android moves up to 6 Marshmallow gets its retail release that'll go through the Cyanogen guys they will build probably Cyanogen 13 off of Android 6 and you'll get an update so you get all the key Android features that come in Android 6 with whatever else the Cyanogen guys want to throw into their version of it as well and uh, there we have it I'm incredibly impressed with the Wiley Fox um, we will do a full review shortly and look at some of these features that are on their settings features in in more depth in future videos but for 129 pounds um, this really is an excellent phone